Hi, my name is Beth Ritson. I'm a visiting professor in the theater studies program here at Guilford College, and I'm here to talk about Mara Vandiver. I remember Mara from her very first class. Uh, she did an improvisation carrying around a chicken in a mall, I believe. And right then I was like, hmm, okay, we're probably gonna have a wing of this theater named after her. Beth has been a very, very consistent and steady mentor for me throughout my time at Guilford. I found out about Guilford when I was pretty young. I went to a Quaker summer camp near my home, uh, which was just the closest and most affordable option. And there was a lot of counselors that had been to Guilford, and it was kind of on my radar through that. And I applied uh, as a safety school, and I did not end up getting into my top choices. And I'm really happy that I ended up at Guilford because I think there's a very unique flavor of anti-elitism that would not have been present at those uh, other institutions. And I also found out that the admissions counselor for New England, where I'm from, was one of my old camp counselors. And I DM'd him on Instagram and I said, hello, Zachary, I shaved your hair into a mohawk in 2012 and now I would like to pursue higher education. How would you feel? And I got in. Um, she just struck me as um, dynamic, enthusiastic, smart, and um, just a really beautiful, lovely person. I was in her acting one class my freshman year, first semester, and at the end of that year, she sat me down and she asked me very honestly if this was something that I seriously wanted to pursue. And that upset me at the time uh, because I thought that she was dissing my work and my effort, but I recognize now that that was the most helpful thing that anyone ever did at Guilford for me. That talk forced me to go home and contemplate a lot on what I wanted to do and how I wanted uh, to live the rest of my life and the types of people that I wanted to be around and the types of work that I wanted to create. And I came out of the other side of that very, very sure in my decision to continue with theater, even though it is a very risky path. I'm so sorry, Mom. Um, it was invaluable invaluable to me and I can't thank her enough for what she's done. Mayor and I will, will, we will stay in touch for many years to come. I'm looking forward to all the great things she's going to add to the world of theater.